the bacon's really good. Come on, Daisy, come here and try some bacon. No, no, I don't want to eat any eggs or bacon for breakfast. I already said so. Oh, I do what I want. I want some ice cream or cake. Daisy, you're not having ice cream or cake for breakfast, and that's final, young lady. Come here, please. No, Daisy. Close the fridge, please, and come here. No! No! Mommy and Daddy don't love me anymore! Daisy, please close the fridge. You can have some ice cream after breakfast. It's not fair! I want cake and ice cream for breakfast now! I'm not gonna eat any eggs or bacon for breakfast! No! Come on, Daisy. The bacon is really good. Come try some. I say no, it's no. I do what I want. I eat what I want. I don't want no eggs or bacon. Daisy, please. Let's just eat some bacon and eggs for now so you won't get hungry. And we can grab something else to eat later, okay? No! I said I want to have McDonald's or cake or ice cream for breakfast. Come on, Daisy, we have to eat breakfast before we start heading off to the airport. If you don't eat your breakfast, we're just going to leave without you and you're not going to get to come with us on a plane and then you won't get to go skiing. Oh, no. Fine, I'm just going to stay here and I'm going to have all the ice cream and the cake to myself. I'm not going. <laughs> oh my gosh, my little sister is so spoiled. This is what happens when my mom and dad lets her do whatever she wants and she never gets punished for anything that she ever does. This is why she's such a spoiled little brat sometimes. She never listens to anyone. <sighs> oh man, Daisy's been getting out of hand lately. She hasn't really been listening to anything that we've been telling her to do. I think it's time we start disciplining her, but you know, we've spoiled her for so long, uh -oh. it's kind of hard now. Maybe if we leave her be for just a little bit, then she'll come over and eat. Let me try to do a flip. Oh, almost. Flips are hard. Yeah, I don't think she's coming, Mom. And are you going to allow her to skateboard inside the house? Remember what happened last time? Uh -oh. Daisy, you're not even allowed to skateboard inside the house. Can you please put your skateboard away right now? I was going to put my skateboard away right now. Anyways, I got bored of it, and I'm still not eating any breakfast. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating how Daisy gets away with everything bad that she does. It's about time my parents start disciplining her, because she's such a little brat. Maybe she should stay home. Mmm, <laughs> this is good. I'm back. Who wants to go swimming? Let's go to the beach today. It's a nice day to go swimming. Please, Mom. Are you going to just let her do whatever she wants? It's totally not fair. Daisy never gets punished for anything. Yeah, I agree. Mm. You're such a little brat. Mm -mm -mm. Don't worry, girls. Eventually, she'll come and eat some breakfast. Mm. Especially because the bacon is so good today. Now, can you please put that away and just come and eat already? Like I said to mommy and daddy, I'm not coming to eat because I'm only going to eat ice cream or cake or McDonald's for breakfast. I gotta practice my trumpet now. Right now. I'm bad at it 
right now because I haven't had time to practice. If I practice a bit more, I'll get better. If you don't put that trumpet away right now, it's gonna mysteriously disappear later. Yup, mm-hmm. <gasps> you gotta throw my trumpet away? That's so mean. Fine, I'm gonna go hide it. Okay, maybe she'll come eat breakfast now. After she's done putting her trumpet away. Mm. We just have to be a bit more patient. Oh, we really shouldn't have let her done everything she wanted. She is a little spoiled. Mm. And bratty. It's not like she's our favorite or anything, but... Mm. Mm. She was our youngest, so we did let her slide with a lot of poor bad behaviors. And now we're really paying for it. Mm. Oh, look, she's back. Look what I can do! I learned a new trick! Daisy, I don't want to have to keep repeating myself. You're supposed to be sitting at the breakfast table eating with your big sisters. I made you bacon and eggs for breakfast this morning, and I want you to go there and eat it, please. No, 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 no. It's a gazillion, gazillion, million no's. I want ice cream or cake or McDonald's. Ah! Oh, I just fell down there. No, I'm not coming for breakfast. Oh my god, what are we going to do with that girl? She is getting out of hand. She hasn't been listening to anything her dad and I have been telling her to do all week. Oh jeez. Looks like everyone is done their breakfast. Uh, I wouldn't say everyone is done their breakfast. Yeah, dad, look. Daisy's plate is still full. We're done eating though. But look, there's still food, bacon and eggs on Daisy's plate. She's the only one that hasn't even eaten. And you know what? It's not even for today's breakfast. She literally does this for almost every meal. Yeah, she refuses to eat anything unless it's something she wants to eat. She's so bratty. I think it's time that you do something about it, Dad. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Daisy, come here and eat your breakfast, please. No, I'm not coming. But look, I got my hula hoop. Look what I can do now. I can do the hula hoop now. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to take this into my own hands. Daisy? I learned how to do the hula hoop at school and I'm the best in my class. I can hula hoop for a long time. My teacher says I'm really good. Who wants to learn how to hula hoop? I can teach you if you want. That's enough, young lady. Put that away, please. Come here. No! Come on, sweetheart, it's time for breakfast. We have to eat or you're going to be hungry heading to the airport. I don't want to eat no eggs or bacon, no. I want an ice cream. Well, ice cream is not acceptable for breakfast, so you're going to eat your breakfast right now, no questions. This is not a negotiation. Come here, young lady. Finally, it's about time. Come on, little sister. Why do you always have to make such a big fuss of every meal? Just eat already. I eat what I wanna. I get to do what I wanna. No, you don't. You have to listen to mom and dad and us. Eat your breakfast or you're going to be in big trouble. Right, mom? Right, dad? I wanna eat bacon. I wanna eat sausage. And I don't like my eggs this way. I want scramble eggs. Come on, Daisy, if you give it a try, maybe you'll like it. Hmm? Here, let me feed you. Ah. No! No, one Good girl, see? Doesn't it taste delicious? If you try a bite, then you might like it. Now, how about another bite, okay? I'll help feed you here. I just swallowed it, but I didn't like it. No more, Dad. Oh, come on, just another spoonful. You just gotta eat a few more bites, okay? Here, let me get it for you. Say, ah! No! I said I don't wanna eat it! Uh, no! I said no! You're not listening to me! I said no! <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. Ugh. Oh my god. Did you just spit out all of your food on dad's face? 
Daisy! Oh my god! <laughs> Daddy, your face looks so funny. Sorry, that, that was an accident. I got kind of mad. Oh, gross. Bacon bits all over my face. Oh, now it's so oily. Daisy, that is not acceptable, young lady. I can't believe you just did that. Oh, bacon all over my face. Daisy, even if you didn't want to eat, it's not right to be spitting on anyone's face. I can't believe you spat on your dad's face. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It was an accident, Mommy. Yeah, right. It was not an accident. You totally did that on purpose. Don't let her get away with this, Dad. Do something about it. Oh, first, gotta get the grease off my face. Oh, bacon is super oily. Now my face feels really oily. I'm gonna have to go wash my face again. I might even have to wash my hair again because there's oil in my hair now, too. Oh, it's so unfair how she gets away with all this and never gets punished for anything. Oh my god, Mom! Dad, I can't believe you're not gonna do anything about it. Punish her or something. Honey, I think the girls are right. I think it's time we give Daisy her first time out. She needs to learn her lesson. Uh-oh. A time out? What's that? Is it fun? What, am I gonna like it? I want a time out. She hasn't been listening to us and she's been naughtier and naughtier every day. I think the girls are right. It's time that we start disciplining Daisy already. Yeah, now we're talking. She should definitely get time out. And maybe you should ground her too. Yeah, take all her toys away and her iPad too. Yeah, give her a really long time out. You're right, you're right. The girls are right too. You know, we have let it get out of hand and gone too far. It's time that Daisy learns her lesson and learn how to behave. Come here, sweetheart. It's time for a time out. You're going to stand in the corner, face the wall, no talking, and you're going to stand there for five minutes. <gasps> that doesn't sound fun! No! <laughs> now, every time you do something bad in the future, you're going to be getting a time out. Okay, let's go! Finally, this I gotta see. There's no news crying because it's not going to change anything. Now, you're going to stand there for five minutes. Turn around, please. Face the wall. Don't look at me. Oh, don't give me that puppy face. It's not going to work on me. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you tell her. Don't let her cute puppy face suck you in. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that face. She's just so cute. Nope, nope. I have to be strong. I have to resist. Yeah, Dad, be strong. Don't give in. You can do it. Yeah, don't fall for her puppy look face. <laughs> oh man, this is hard. Nope, nope, I have to resist. I can't fall for that puppy face. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. I am keeping my eye on the timer. It's not time yet. I know this is hard, but she has to stand there for a full five minutes. It's her first time out and her first time getting a punishment. I know it's not going to be easy. Looking at a wall is so boring. <laughs> Why is five minutes so long? <laughs> I hate time outs. <laughs> what a wonderful day today is Daisy's first time getting a punishment. Anyways, I'm gonna go change. Bye! Wow, that was quite the show. All right, I'm done breakfast. I'm also gonna head out. I wanna go change as well, even though I still have to wear my sunglasses all day. I wanna look cute. Bye, Mom! Thanks for breakfast. Okay, that's five minutes. And that's Daisy's first time getting time out. Okay, time out's done. All right, have you learned your lesson, sweetie? Yes, would you like to come eat breakfast now with mom and dad? Or would you like to go back and do another five minutes of time out? <laughs> Crystal Star, are you girls in here? What the jippers? Why is the floor so dirty? Girls, what's going on here? <gasps> oh no, mom's here! Oh, better hide! Oh my god, what is going on here? There's sand all over the floor. It is filthy in my closet now. Girls, what's going on here? What are you doing in here? Oh, mom, um, nothing. 
bring nothing. I was just gonna borrow a jacket. And I didn't bring in the sand. <gasps> Mom! Um, nothing. We're not doing anything in here that's suspicious at all. <laughs> right. My mother intuition tells me that something is going on here. Come on, girls. Fess up. What's going on? <gasps> nothing. Nothing. We're just hanging out in your closet. <sighs> Somehow something tells me this isn't nothing. See, when you have four kids, it's never a dull moment. Anyways, girls, have you seen your little sister Daisy? She needs to take a bath, but I've been looking everywhere. I can't seem to find her anywhere. Nope, haven't seen Daisy. No idea where she is. Not like she's over there somewhere. You know, like right over there somewhere here. Oh, have you been looking for Daisy? Why, it's not like she might be over there somewhere. You know, somewhere up there. You know, over to my left there. <laughs> what? Is this a riddle or something? Come on, girl. Seriously, it's getting late. I need to give Daisy a bath. Have you seen your little sister anywhere? Um, well... <coughs> over... <coughs> oh my gosh, girls. Aren't we getting too old for this? <sighs> Are we playing a riddle together right now at night? Okay, what is it? What are you girls looking at? What's over there? Do I even want to know? Oh my gosh, look how dirty the floor is! We are gonna have to vacuum and clean up my closet before we go on our trip. Okay, what's over here? What do you girls want me to find in here? Hi! Oh, oh my god, Daisy! You gave me a fright, young lady. What are you doing hiding in here? Oh my goodness. Oh my heart. Oh my heart. I'm not Daisy. Pretend you didn't see me. Oh, was that a heart attack there? Oh, no. Yeah, Mom, she's been hiding in your closet. And I think the sand came from her because she was playing in the sandbox earlier, she said. She's been hiding here for hours now. I love playing in my sandbox. I'm gonna make a sand castle. Okay, I need to get my shovel off because I'm gonna make something really cool. First, I'm gonna need a lot of sand, so let me dig. Oh, this is a lot of work. Ooh, I'm gonna dig a lot of sand. And then I'm gonna pile it together. <laughs> Do you guys like playing in the sandbox too? Because playing in the sandbox is my favorite thing. Look, there's so much sand, and I made a big pile here. What? What's going on here? Why is there a trail? It's like footprints all the way towards Mom's closet. That's super weird. I guess I should follow it. Where do these footprints lead to? Hmm. That's very odd. Okay, and it ends here. <gasps> Aren't these clothes supposed to be, like, washed? Why are they so dirty? What's going on? What are these brown stains? Oh, no. oh my goodness, at this point, do I really seriously even want to know? <sighs> well, I guess I better go check it out and investigate, because this is sus. Uh -oh. What's going on here? Hey! <gasps> Daisy? What are you doing in here? Pretend you didn't see me. I'm hiding from Mom because she wants to give me another bag. Oh my god, Daisy, you are such a little troublemaker. How did you get so dirty so fast? You are literally covered in mud and dirt. I don't know. I just went outside to play in the sandbox for a little bit. Don't tell Mom I'm in here. She wants to give me another bath. Yeah, no kidding. You definitely need another bath. And look at the mess that you've made now in Mom's closet. Just pretend that you didn't see me. You don't know where I am. If mom asks, um, tell mom I ran off to Alaska. Yeah, like that's gonna fly. Do you even know where Alaska is? I do so. I'm not a little girl anymore. Anyways, if mom asks, say that I no longer live here and I've moved out. Bye. Oh gosh, Daisy, I should have known. My little sister is always up to trouble somehow. Daisy, please come out from there. Daisy, seriously, this is ridiculous, Daisy. You cannot hide in there forever. Come out. Daisy, hey, you're gonna get me 
me cut. Go away. This is where I live now. Daisy, sooner or later, you're going to have to come out of mom's closet. And what is this? Ah, hey, stop. Why is your face covered in dirt? Did you roll around in the mud or something? Jeez, Daisy. Ah, stop. I even roll in the mud. I played in the sandbox and had some cake. Anyways, bye. And if mom asks, say I've moved to Alaska. Daisy, how are you supposed to live in mom's closet? There's no food, there's no washroom, there's nothing to drink. You're gonna get hungry and thirsty. You need food or else you die. Come on, Daisy, come out already. No, never, I'm never coming out. I live here now and I no longer need food or anything to drink anymore. Oh my gosh, you're so stubborn. Are you sure you don't want to come out? I can make you your favorite tuna sandwich. And we have some oranges. <gasps> My favorite tuna sandwich? No, I'm still not coming out. You can't make me. I'm going to cover myself up with mom's clothes and live here forever because I'm never going to take a bath again. Don't tell mom. I'm not here. You didn't see me. Daisy. Jeez, what do we do with you, little sister? Whoops, can't say I didn't try. If you don't want to come out, then I guess you're just going to live in mom's closet from now on. That means no more toys, no more Christmas presents. Oh, no. uh, what? Uh, I'm still not coming out. All right, I guess you don't need to eat any of your favorite food anymore. No more theme parks. Okay, enjoy living in mom's closet. Honestly, my little sister is so stubborn whenever she gets into this mindset of hers. There's no convincing her anyway, so I'll just let her be. Uh -oh. Alright, I guess if you won't come out, I'm just gonna be on my way now. Ugh, what a mess. Jeez, Daisy. My instincts tell me that it's not gonna be hard for mom to figure out where you went. Especially because you left a huge trail. Alright, I'm here to look for a scarf. There's where mom keeps her scarves. Mm, which one should I take with me? I wish I could take them both, but I'm pretty sure mom's not gonna let me borrow two. Okay, this one is super warm and I do like how it fits. I also like the fabric and the design is really cute with the snowflakes, but I don't know. It's not gonna really match any of my outfits. Okay, maybe the pink, because my jacket is pink. Ooh, this one is super warm. Maybe a little bit too warm, since my jacket is already pretty warm. I do really like the color and the fabric, but I don't know. I'm getting hot wearing this right now. Maybe I should pick something less warm, because my jacket is already a fur jacket, and I don't want to be hot. Oh, there's one more. How about this one? This one looks a lot thinner, so let's give it a try. Oh, I think this might work. This is perfect. It doesn't make me too hot, and it still keeps me warm. And plus, it's super stylish. Okay, I guess I'll borrow this from mom for our upcoming family vacation. If it were up to me, I would have borrowed all three because they're all so cute. But put these back since I'm only taking this one. All right. Daisy, I'm leaving. Are you sure you don't want to come out? I can make you your favorite tuna sandwich. Are you sure? Stop trying to get me to come out. It's not going to work. I live here now. You never saw me, okay? Okay, if you say so. I guess now since you live in mom's closet, you're not going to need any of your toys anymore. I'll just tell her to give it to the newborn baby. Hey! toys anymore I say then oh my god my sister is so stubborn I guess I can't get her to come out of the closet this is gonna be mom's problem later not mine all right well I'm out of here see ya have fun Ah! <laughs> 
lot of nice clothes. She must have a nice jacket that I can borrow. Oh my goodness, what is all of this dirt on the floor? Usually mom's closet is super clean. Why is it so dirty today? <gasps> Ew, gross! I stepped on something. Gross! My foot is so dirty now. I'm gonna have to go wash it later. Ooh, has mom not been washing her clothes or something? Oh my gosh, why are some of the stuff in here so gross looking? Oh my goodness, I hope the jackets are clean because if they're dirty, then how am I supposed to borrow them? Oof. Okay, what can I borrow? Hmm, there's so many options to choose from. Let's rotate mom's closet so we can see what jackets are available for me to pick from here. Mom's closet is so cool. Hmm, I don't see anything black. I want a black jacket. Ooh, I'm a ghost! Huh. Oh my gosh! Ah. Oh! <laughs> that is so funny! You fell on your bum bum! <laughs> Ow! I can't believe I got so scared I fell. Oh, that was such a hard fall too. Oh, gross. And on this floor? <laughs> that is really funny. But I'm sorry that I made you fall so up. Girl, oh, oh, Daisy, it was just a little joke. Don't be mad and don't tell mom I'm here. I'm hiding right now. Oh, I really fell on my butt hard. Ow, so sore. <sighs> that was not funny, Daisy. You could have given me a heart attack. And besides, what are you even doing in mom's closet? I live here now. Mom wants to give me a bath again, and I don't want to take a bath, so I ran away. Oh my god, Daisy, you are always so much trouble. I don't think running away counts when you're hiding in a closet. Well, I was really gonna run away, but then, but then it's so dark outside, so I got scared, so now I live in Mom's closet. You didn't see me. Well, I guess that explains why mom's closet is a huge mess right now. Just look at all this dirt on the floor. Like, what did you do? Why is there so much sand? Uh oh. Oh, jeez, Daisy. Pretend you didn't see me. Daisy, please come down from there. This is ridiculous. Mom's gonna find you sooner or later. You can't live in a closet. I can too. I'm gonna stay here forever and then I'll never have to take another bath. Daisy, don't be ridiculous. Come down from there right now, please. Still firm on staying inside mom's closet, huh? Well, you're lucky because I brought you something. I got you your favorite tuna sandwiches, some orange slices, and here's some kiwi juice. <gasps> Thanks, Crystal Star! You're the bestest! I was getting kind of hungry. Yeah, well, I thought I would bring you some food so that you won't get hungry and stay up all night bothering us later. What? What? Crystal Star, you knew she was in here the whole time and you didn't, like, say anything? 
Why didn't you try to get her out? It's ridiculous that she's in the closet. Okay, you be my guest, okay? If you think you can get her out, then you try. You know how stubborn Daisy can get when she's up to mischief. I can't convince her to come out. You can try if you want. I'm never coming out. You cannot make me come out. I live here now. Hmm, hmm. See what I mean? Uh, yeah, I guess so. You're right. Uh -oh. You know, when she gets into this mood of hers, it's pretty much impossible to convince her otherwise. I can't use my hands to eat. Can you please feed me, Crystal Star? I can't believe this. The shenanigans that my little sister gets up to. Now we have to feed you too. Uh, it's so hard to resist her though because she's just so cute. But she's always up to no good. Uptown girl, hold the plate for me for a bit so that I can give Daisy something to drink. Kiwi! Kiwi juice, please! I'm so thirsty! That's what happens when you live in a closet. A higher, higher! It's too low! I'd be so thirsty! <laughs> tuna! Tuna! Sandwich now! Sandwich now, please! You really make the best tuna sandwiches. Here, Daisy, here's the other half. Have some more. Finish it all, please. Honestly, sometimes I think mom and dad spoils her a little too much. But when I think about it, we also spoil Daisy as well. Look what we're doing now. We're letting her do whatever she wants and we're even feeding her. I can't believe even in this situation, you're a picky eater. Our little sister is a super picky eater. She's always causing trouble during dinner time. Mom, mom, mom. Thirsty, thirsty. More kiwi juice, please. Crystal Star, I'm thirsty. Okay, okay, give me a minute. Oh, my arms are so tired having to reach up there. Wow, you must have been super thirsty. Or I made this really well. Now I'm gonna go back to living in mom's closet. What? She went back into the sandbox after I've already given her a bath earlier? Oh, Daisy. And Crystal Star, you knew your little sister was in here the entire time and you didn't even tell me? Well, well, she told me not to and I don't want to be a tattletale. It's not our fault, Mom. We didn't make this mess. Daisy made it all by herself. I'm just as innocent as you are. I didn't know she was in here. I just found out just a moment ago just before you. Mm-hmm. Somehow, I feel like you've known a little longer than just a few moments ago. Crystal Star Uptown Girl, your little sister is younger. She doesn't know better. But you have to tell me these things if you know she's doing this. Oh, rats. Our little sister always does something naughty and then somehow we always end up getting in trouble for it for her. Alright young lady, it is time to come down from there. No, I don't want to come down. I live here. Daisy, come on. Let's come down. It is time for a bath. You are filthy young lady. No, mama want a bath. I'll have to give Daisy a bath, girls, and then also put her to sleep. So do you think you girls can help me clean the closet? Oh man, I guess we can't leave your closet this dirty since we're going away on our family trip. Ah, uh, does that mean we have to clean it tonight? Uh, no, seriously? Oh man, Daisy's always up to no good, and we always end up cleaning up after her. Uptown girl, sweetheart, can you please see what clothes of mine are dirty and put it in laundry and clean up any handbags or hats that got dirty from Daisy? And Crystal Star, please vacuum the floor and also wipe down any of the tops that got mud or sand on it and really clean up the closet. No, no bath! I'm not sleepy! No bath! Oh, your sister is filthy. Make sure you wipe down anything that she's touched and clean up the floor. And as for you, young lady, you are in big trouble. But since it's so late right now, I'm just going to give you a bath and then put you to bed. But I already had a bath today. I want to take another bath. No more baths, please, mommy. Thanks for cleaning up, girls. All right, come on, Daisy. We're not negotiating. Did you see that? Daisy didn't even get punished. 
yeah, and now we end up having to clean up everything. I can't believe this. I seriously cannot believe this. Why did I have to be the middle child? I wish I was like the youngest like Daisy. <gasps> Um, Uptown Girl, we got bigger problems to deal with right now. Look around you at this closet. <gasps> so much mud and sand. Um. <gasps> oh my god. There's more over here as well. <gasps> oh, all of mom's clothes. Ooh. And over here too. Not the top two, right? Oh wow, look at that! And all of mom's jackets? <gasps> oh. Oh. No! No! Oh my god! What are we gonna do? <gasps> we have to clean everything! And look, there's more! <gasps> and the floor! Oh, the floor! Oh my god! <laughs> it's gonna take us all night! <laughs> Some shampoo. Let's wash your hair here. It's been through a lot today. And we'll use a lot of shampoo. Daisy, if you don't want me to get shampoo in your eye, please hold still. I tickle, Mama. No, I don't like it when people touch my hair. Well, you have to wash your hair. Oh, goodness, it is so messy and dirty. Uh, I'm gonna get in my eye! It's not gonna get in your eye. Just hold still, please, and it won't. Uh, are you done, Mom? <laughs> it's taking too long. Okay, okay, I'm almost done. Hold still. Uh, I'm going. <gasps> oh my gosh, Daisy! Oh goodness, she hid in the bubble bath. <laughs> Daisy, come out here, please. Oh, oh! <laughs> Daisy, you gave me a fright there just now. And just look, my shirt is all wet now. Oh, giving Daisy a bath is never easy. Bedtime is literally a struggle every night. Good mommy, I rinsed up all the soap all by myself from going into the water. See? Uh -oh. oh my god, well at least something good actually came from that. But Daisy, please do not do that again, young lady. Now, can you just please give yourself a bath peacefully? Look at what I can do! When I wave my arms and go like push, I get it splashes! Look! Oh gosh! Oh no! Daisy! You're getting water everywhere! Thank goodness the bath towel absorbs all the water! Daisy, please stop splashing! Oh my goodness! Look at all this water! <laughs> Daisy, young lady, no splashing, okay. please. You're going to get the whole bathroom completely covered in water. Uh, it's more fun when I can splash the water. Well, it's not fun cleaning it up, so please don't splash any more water. Mom, the baby's crying. Oh, goodness, what now? Um, Sweetheart, can you please try to soothe your baby sister? I'm just in the middle of giving Daisy a bath right now. But, Mom, I've already tried my best. I changed her diaper and she's still crying. Crystal Star tried to give her some food, but she won't eat anything. Oh, she's crying even louder now, Mom. We need your help. Oh, my molly golly. Having four kids is not easy. All right, all right. I will go check on your newborn baby sister, but could you please stay here to watch over Daisy? You know how Daisy is. If we leave her in here by herself, she's going to cause some sort of trouble. Uh, do I have to? Why don't I go call Crystal Star? Uh, I'll call Crystal Star. Why don't you ask Crystal Star to help Daisy? Crystal Star! Oh, I seriously need a vacation right now. Good thing that our flight is tomorrow. Uptown girl, please. We don't have the time for this. I need you to stay here and watch over your little sister Daisy for just a little bit so that I can tend to your newborn baby sister. Oh my god, seriously, why me? Oh, I regret coming in here and asking for mom now. Oh mom, seriously, do I really have to please? No. Darling, we don't have much time. We need to all get ready for bed. What time is it? Oh my goodness, look at the time. 
We have a flight to catch tomorrow morning, so I don't have the time to argue back and forth right now. Uptown girl, please help me watch over your little sister, Daisy. Isn't she like two now or something? I think she's old enough to like take a bath by herself now. I don't think she needs me. She'll be fine on her own. Oh, absolutely not. You know how your little sister is. If we take our eye off of her for just a minute, she's going to be out there causing trouble. Just watch her for a few minutes. I'm going to go out there and check on your newborn baby sister. Maybe she's hungry or something, and I'll be right back. I promise. Oh my gosh, watching over Daisy is a nightmare because she does cause a lot of problems and trouble. Hey, I can hear you from here. I don't cause any trouble. I'm a good girl. Please, sweetheart, I really need your help. Just watch over your little sister for a little bit for me while I go check on your newborn baby sister. Okay, okay. I'll watch over Daisy. Don't worry. Fine, fine, fine. I'll do it. I just hope she won't cause any trouble this time. Thanks, sweetie. Daisy, no splashing and please go easy on your big sister. Don't cause her any trouble. And if Daisy doesn't listen to you, then you let me know, okay? Alright, Uptown Girl, thank you so much for watching over Daisy. I will go check on the newborn baby now. <sighs> I guess I have no choice. Alright, I'll just sit here and watch you. Go take your bath. <laughs> Look what I can do! <laughs> Daisy, mom said no splashing. Come here, I'll just give you a quick wash and get you out of this bath. Ah, you're getting soap in my eye! Soap in my eye! <laughs> Shh. Oh my gosh, Daisy, be quiet please. I don't want to get in trouble. Mom's going to come in and think I did something to you. Okay, fine, fine. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> really? Like, can I splash water? This is crazy. You are always up to no good. Hey, I need more water. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you got water everywhere. Oh, there's puddles and puddles of water all over the floor. Daisy, this is not what I meant when I said you could do whatever you want. Especially now that there's water all over the floor. Oh gosh, now I'm going to be the one having to clean this all up. <laughs> it's so much fun. No, it's not. If you keep doing this, I'm going to call mom in here and tell her that you're splashing. <gasps> okay, okay, don't. I'll stop. Oh, why, you better. Look at the mess that you made. Look at the bathroom floor. It's covered in puddles of water that I now have to clean up. Oh, Daisy. And I can't believe you spat out water everywhere even after Mom said not to splash. Yeah, but I didn't splash, though. I sprayed water with my mouth. That's not splashing. Uh... Oh, my goodness. You little smarty pants. You found a loophole. Okay, it's the same thing anyways. It means no getting the bathroom floor completely soaked with water. Oh, I didn't know it wasn't the same thing. I'm only two. Well, now that I know, I'll stop. But, but, but don't tell mom, okay? I'm sorry. Don't tell mommy. Ugh, fine. Just stop spraying water, splashing water, or pretty much anything that gets the floor wet. I'm going to go get a mop and clean this up then. Yay! You're the bestest big sister ever, Uptown Girl! <sighs> well, make sure you wait right here, don't go anywhere, and please don't cause any more trouble. I'll be right back with a mop. <laughs> Looks like I'm all by myself in this big washroom. Ha! Ha ha! ta -da! <sighs> Maybe I can just splash just a little bit. Should I 
by bringing Nemo and the rest of the gang? Then I'll have more fun because I'll have friends. That's a great idea. Yeah, you're right. Then we can all take a bath together. You need a bath too. Okay, let me go get Nemo. I'm just going to go grab my friends from the aquarium. <laughs> and then we can all take a bath together. Wait right here, okay, Mr. Ducky? I'll be right back with Nemo. <laughs> Careful not to fall because it's slippery. <laughs> I'm back. Look who I brought. I got Oscar first. <laughs> Oscar's the first fish. I'll go get the rest. <laughs> okay, I found Flounder. <laughs> Flounder was really hard to catch, but I finally caught him. <laughs> Nemo was hiding. It was really hard to find him, but I found him. Uh, let me get the rest. Uh, ha, look, here's Flipper. Flipper tried to jump out of the aquarium because he was so scared when I got him. We have so many fish. I'm back with shark. There's a lot of running back and forth. Oh, there's still more. Okay, I finally got Guppy. Guppy, join the rest. Oh no, she got us. We are goners. We have a lot of fish in the aquarium. It was a lot of work carrying all you guys one by one into the bathroom. So guys, who wants to go first into the bubble bath water with me? Oh no, we're all gonna die today. No, I'm too young. Ah! Huh, let's see, who should I take first? Oscar, Flounder, Nemo, Flipper? Guppy, Finley, um, um, how about you, Nemo? Nemo, you get to go first. You must be very dirty from swimming around all day. You need a bubble bath. Come on, Nemo. Let's go before the water gets cold. And there's still a lot of bubbles right now. Let's give you a bath. Hi, Nemo. It was nice knowing you. Oh, Nemo. Hi. Daisy, is everything okay in here? I saw you running back and forth a lot. What are you doing? Oh, hi, big sister. I just brought all the fish in. I'm giving them a bubble bath. Oh, my God. What? Oh, what are all of our fish doing in the bathroom? Daisy, you can't give fish a bubble bath. Oh, gosh. Why? They're probably dirty from swimming around all day. Oh my goodness, I am so glad that I follow my intuition and I came in here to check on my little sister. Okay, Nemo, you're the first to go in. Oh my gosh, no, 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 Daisy, no. You can't throw Nemo in the bubble bath water or he'll die. Fish cannot go into a bubble bath. Really? Why? Isn't he dirty? Should we give him a bath to make him nice and clean? Oh my gosh, no, no, Daisy. Fish cannot be put into bubble bath water or they'll die. <gasps> it means if I put Nemo into the bathtub that he'll die? I don't want him to die. I almost killed Nemo. Oh my god, yeah, that was really a close one. Good thing I came in here and checked up on you just in the nick of time. And I can't believe you got our entire aquarium in the bathroom. Oh my goodness. Okay, Daisy, why don't we collect all of our fish friend and put them back into the big fish tank. They can stay clean in their fish tank all by themselves, plus they swim around in water all day so that keeps them nice and clean. And the fish tank is their home, and we shouldn't be taking the fish out of their home. But it's a good thing that I hadn't put Nemo in the bath water, otherwise he would have died and I would have been really sad because Nemo and I are very close friends. That would have been a big mistake. 
Yes, so why don't we take all of our fish friends and put them back into the big fish tank where they can live and be happy. Uh, okay. Oh my goodness, all of our fish are here. I bet our fish tank is completely empty. How did you even manage this? Okay, let's go put these back one by one. I'm sure they're terrified and super stressed right now and they probably miss home. Oh, look at all of these fish. It wasn't easy. I carried them myself one by one. Okay, let's take them back home. Oh, I'm back. I finally found the mop. Oh, now you're back. Uptown girl, you're back. Yeah, I couldn't find the mop anywhere, so it took me a while. <gasps> oh my god, why are all of our fish in the bathroom? I took them from our aquarium fish tank because I wanted to give the fish a bubble bath. <gasps> oh my god, Daisy, you did what now? Yeah, weren't you supposed to be watching over Daisy? Oh, I saw her running back and forth and I was like, what is she doing? So I came in here to check on her right before she was about to throw Nemo into the bubble bath. I came here in the nick of time to save all of our fish. Oh my gosh, I only stepped out for just like a little bit. Look at the floor. It's full of puddles everywhere because she just kept splashing and spitting water out. Oh, and then I leave for just a couple of minutes and I come back to this. Oh, Daisy. And this is exactly why mom always tells us to keep an eye on Daisy. She'll always find a way to cause some sort of trouble. See, you should have stayed here and watched her. I don't know. How was I supposed to know? I didn't think she'd be able to do anything bad in just a few minutes. But I guess I have to be more careful in the future because clearly she can. Ugh, whatever. Jeez, just like be more careful next time, will you? You're lucky that this time I was here to save you. Otherwise, all of our fish would have been dead. Come on, Daisy. Let's put all the fish back into the fish tank. Okay. Come on, Teddy. Let's drive to the toy store. Uh-oh. I think it's the other way. Whoops. I must have gone lost. Oh, no. I almost forgot to put in gas. We can't drive to the mall without any gas. Mommy just say about this not being playtime anymore? You have to eat breakfast, sweetheart. Otherwise, you're gonna be hungry. Come on, clean up, put your car away, and sit down, please. But mom, I'm not hungry yet. You guys eat breakfast first. I don't need to eat right now. Huh? What is it, Teddy? What? You want McDonald's? Oh, okay. You don't want to eat breakfast either? You just want McDonald's? Okay, I'll tell mommy. Mom, Teddy doesn't want to eat breakfast either. He wants McDonald's. I want McDonald's too. Well, you can tell Teddy that he's not getting McDonald's this morning. He's having bacon and eggs, and so are you. Come on, put your car away. You're eating what I made for breakfast so that you won't get hungry later. Oh, but mom, I don't want to eat eggs and bacon. I want to eat McDonald's. 
Good morning. My life sucks. Oh, no. oh smells good though. Oh, I can't believe our trip is today. Ow! Close the door on my nose. Ow, ow, ow. Like totally rude much? Ooh, that smells so good. Morning, Mom. Morning, Dad. I can't wait for our trip to begin. Oh, good. You girls are awake. Well, good morning, sweethearts. Oh my gosh. What the? Why are you wearing your sunglasses indoors, especially now for breakfast? I mean, I know it's a really nice day and all outside, but wearing your sunglasses inside nowadays isn't cool anymore. You look ridiculous. Leave me alone, you don't understand. <laughs> I can't believe our family vacation starts today. I'm gonna be wearing sunglasses for the rest of the trip. Uptown girl, why are you wearing your sunglasses, sweetheart? Your sister's right, you know. There's no hats and no sunglasses at the eating table. Can you please take them off? Oh, but dad, but dad, I can't. For your fake fat information, I can't take off my sunglasses because I have pink eye. Both of my eyes look horrible. I am not taking off my sunglasses. Oh my god, really? Come on, take them off. I want to see. Oh honey, I'm sure it's not that bad. Let me see. How's your pink eye? Yeah, take it off, take it off. Let me see how bad your eyes are. <laughs> no way, you're just gonna laugh at me. It's not funny, you know. <laughs> oh, we promise we're not going to laugh, right, Crystal Star? Uh, right, yeah, I promise I'm not gonna laugh. Come on, take it off, let me see. <laughs> Fine. <gasps> Sorry, I didn't see very clearly. <sighs> Fine. See? Oh my god, those are some serious pink eye. Do you think we should take you to the hospital? <laughs> I can't believe you got pink eye on the day of our family trip. Oh, they look so bad. They are so red. Oh my god. Hey, it's not funny. Stop laughing. See, this is why I didn't even want to show you. I knew you were going to make fun of me. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Okay, I'm not laughing. <laughs> okay, we might have some time, so maybe we'll head off to the hospital just to get your eyes checked out before we head to the airport. No way, I don't want anyone to see my eyes. They look horrible. I am not going to the hospital. Okay, final plate to set up the table. I'll just put it down right here. This should get us through the morning and we can grab more food later. I'm not even hungry. I hate my life right now. <laughs> With my eye like this, someone could see me and it'll be totally embarrassing. My eye is all pink and everything and ugly. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Big sister, your eyes look like two big gigantic strawberries. <laughs> Mom, are you just going to let her do that? <sighs> mm, these bacon are really crunchy. Mm, the bacon's really good this morning, Mom. If we go to the beach later, I'm going to tell my friends that my big sister has eyes like big strawberries. Oh, oh my god, can you like not? Can everybody stop talking about my eyes? I know they look bad. Hmm, I wonder how bad your pink eye is now. Hey sis, how bad is your eye? Why are you wearing those sunglasses? Take them off, I wanna see. Maybe your pink eye has healed. Let's see, take off your sunglasses. Yeah, right, as if I would take off my sunglasses to show you. You laughed at me earlier at breakfast. So no, hard no. Oh, come on. I wasn't laughing at you. I was just, you know, laughing. Take off your sunglasses. Let me see. Maybe your pink eye's gone. Yeah, I highly doubt it. It's a hard no. Oh, come on. I won't laugh. I promise. Please just take off your sunglasses. I want to see it. <laughs> no means no. What part of no don't you understand? It's a hard and no. Oh. Oh my god, now I'm extra curious. I bet her pink eye has gotten a lot worse. That's why she's not showing me. <laughs> you guys, you know what would be so funny? If we took a picture and posted online. I bet my friends would love to see Uptown Girl, my little sister's pink eye. <laughs> okay, where's my phone? Let me look for my phone. Ah, here it is. 
week, can't forget my phone. My phone has a pretty good camera and since I want to remember this moment to get back at my sister for all the naughty things she ever does to me, I'm going to take a picture of her pink eye. Uptown girl! Hey look, I have something to show you. What? Uh oh. <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad. <gasps> hey! <laughs> Oh my gosh, hold still, this is too good. Oh my god, what are you doing? Hey, oh, I got so many good photos. Oh, I can't believe you pulled down my sunglasses and just took photos of me without my consent. I want you to delete those photos right now. I don't want anyone to see my pink eye. Crystal star! <laughs> oh my gosh, these photos are so good. Oh, your pink eye is so bad. Delete those photos right now. Yeah, right? No way! You better delete those photos right now or else, Crystal Star, or else I'm gonna get you bad so bad that you will regret this day. Please, just delete those photos. Don't post it online or I'm gonna be super mad with you. Yeah, no way am I deleting these photos. They're way too good. And remember the time you took a photo of me on the toilet? Well, this is revenge. Dad, Crystal Star took a picture of my pink eye and now she's gonna post it online. Tell her to delete it, please. Oh, not another fight, girls. Can we have one peaceful day where there's no fighting in the house? I'm not getting involved in this. Ugh. Especially since I still have to care for your baby sister. Dad, I can't believe you're not gonna do anything about it. Oh my god, you guys, look at this photo. This is too good. Okay, let's see. I even have a video of her. She's like, what are you doing? Take down that photo. I'm gonna add some emojis. Hey, what are you doing? You are not posting that. Oh, yes, I am. Hey, what are you doing? Show me. No way. I am still posting this. Give me your phone, Crystal Star. Oh, watch it. You stepped on my foot and almost made me drop my phone. Well, then delete that photo. No way, Jose. Give me the phone. Nope. Dad! Uh, give me the phone. No way. This is too good. How oh, you can't get it. Yoink. Oh my goodness, I just got you that phone last year for your birthday. How long is your mother going to take? Girls, please, please stop fighting. Give me the phone. No way. Girls, stop running back and forth, please. You're giving me a headache. Uh, at least your little sister is enjoying it. Give me the phone, Crystal Star. If you post that, I am never going to forgive you. Oh gosh. Crystal Star, come back! No, I am so posting this as revenge. Crystal Star, just delete the photo if your sister doesn't like it. And Uptown Girl, it was not nice of you to take a picture of Crystal Star on the toilet. I'm gonna add an extra emoji. Are you girls even listening to me? I hate you so much right now. Oh, 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 my eye. Oh. It really stings right now because it's getting dry. I'm going to need to put some medicine, some eye drops. Okay, where are my eye drops? I know that I'm carrying my eye drops with me because I know I'll be needing it all day today. Oh, here it is. I got to put on eye drops. My eyes hurt so much. But wait a minute. I'm going to have to take off my sunglasses. And that means <gasps> my sister. She might try to take more photos of me because she's evil. Don't you be taking any more photos. What are you even talking about? I'm not even doing anything. Jeez, like calm down already. Mm, can I even trust her? Ugh, I don't even have a choice. I need to put on eye drops. Otherwise, my eyes are going to hurt even more. Okay, well, she better not take any more photos of me or I'm going to be really mad. I'm not going to do anything. Why are you keep looking at me? Chill already. All right, I guess I'll have to take off my sunglasses so that I can put in these medicine eye drops. Ow, my eyes hurt so much. Having pink eye sucks. Look how swollen my eyes are. They're so red. Oh, it's so dry. <laughs> oh my god, your eyes look even worse now than this morning. 
That's why you were looking at me. You had to take off your sunglasses so that you could put in some more eye drops. Oh, so refreshing. Ah, here's my phone. I need to take some more photos. This looks way too funny. <laughs> Dude, look how funny my sister looks. Hey, what are you doing? Why do I feel like there's like flashing lights or something? Whoa, I got some really good shots just now. <laughs> Are you taking photos of me? Oh, you better not be taking any more photos of me. <laughs> this is too good. What's so funny? You're not taking more photos of me over there, are you? Crystal Star, stop it. Okay, good, perfect. I think I got enough good photos. That was so refreshing, even though I still probably have pink eye. <laughs> Oh, these folders are so good, even better than the last batch. Oh, I am so gonna post this. <laughs> what are you even laughing at over there? I know I said I wasn't gonna take any more photos, but these photos are too funny not to share. Sneak peek, here's one of the funny photos. Uh -oh. oh, I am definitely gonna post this photo on my Insta. I'm gonna get so many likes. <laughs> oh my god, did you just take that just now of me? Hey, you better not be taking any more photos of me over there. Oh, this is too good. I'm gonna post this video up on my Insta to show my friends. <gasps> that video of me looks awful. Take it down right now. It's not fair, Crystal Star. You already posted something of me earlier. I only posted one photo of you on the toilet, not a video. <laughs> Sorry, too bad, so sad, it's happening. Hey, maybe look on the bright side. You'll go viral and become famous for your pink eye. Post it, too late. <laughs> look at this, it's getting so many likes already. <gasps> oh my god, tell me you're lying. You did not actually post that horrendous video of me, did you? Crystal Star! Oh, I am so mad with you right now. You said you weren't going to take any more photos earlier. Well, I guess I changed my mind. No! <gasps> Delete those photos right now. Nope. Let me see what other videos you took of me. Nope. Give me your phone. No way. <laughs> oh man, girls, is this happening again? Can we just not wait here in peace? <sighs> Oh, when I get my hands on that phone, I'm gonna break it. Uh, no way then are you touching my phone. What other photos or video did you take of me? <laughs> All right, girls, cut it out. I'm putting my foot down. Let's stand here and wait for your mother and sister in peace. Dad, it's not fair. Crystal Star took a video and a bunch of photos of me and now she's posting it. <gasps> I think it's going viral. I'm getting so many likes. Whoa. You have got to be kidding me, right? Let me see. Where's my phone? Okay. <gasps> Yo, I'm getting so many likes and so many new subscribers. <laughs> Your video is going viral. You're gonna be famous, sis. Ah, this is what you post of me? No, no, no. I don't want to go viral. Oh, I can't believe this. You're so mean. Delete that post right now before any more people see it. No way. This is way too funny. And besides, this is revenge. Don't forget, you're the one that posted a photo of me on the toilet. Everyone at school called me toilet poopy head for like a year. Oh, that was so long ago. Oh, well, that doesn't matter because I still remember it and I still have trauma over it. I'm so mad! Jeez, oh, you really need to take a chill pill. Oh, ow! My eye! Oh my god, sorry! Ow, my eye! You kicked the soccer ball right into my eye! Ow! That really hurt, you know? Oh my god, I am so sorry! I did not do that on purpose. I, I promise it was totally an accident. I am so sorry. Oh my god, my eye. Is it bad? Ow. <gasps> um. Oh no, now your baby sister is crying too. And this is exactly what happens when you two girls decide to argue. Dad, believe me, I did not do that on purpose. I was really angry and I just wanted to kick something, so I kicked the soccer ball, but I didn't mean for it to hit Crystal Star in the eye. 
Dad, don't believe her. I bet she did it on purpose. I bet she wanted me to have pink eye just like her. That's why she kicked the soccer ball into my face. Oh man, I don't even know what to do. I wish your mother would hurry up and get Daisy changed and come out here already. What? You think I would do something like that on purpose? That's insane! I would never kick a soccer ball into your face and hurt you no matter how angry I get with you. That was totally an accident, I swear. Ugh, do I ground her? Do I not? Ugh, you know, it would have been really bad if you kicked the soccer ball and hit your baby sister over here. Dad, I swear I didn't do that on purpose. I would never do that. No matter how annoying she is, she's still my twin sister. I promise, that was totally a complete accident. Ground her, Dad. Ground her for like a year. Look at my eye. Look what she did to my eye. It hurts. You know what? Your mother is going to be done changing Daisy any minute now, and she'll come out. She'll deal with you two girls. Look at how upset your baby sister is. Oh, there, there. All this fighting is really making her very upset. There, there, there. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, I know, your big sisters are just being extra naughty this morning. Oh, and they say newborns are a lot of work. I guess anyone who said newborns are a lot of work has not had any teenagers. Right, Gucci 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 Goo Princess? Uh, where's my compact? Okay, let's see the damage. How bad is it? <laughs> is it pink eye? Do I have pink eye now? <gasps> See, it's not that bad. It's barely red. Are you insane? Look at my eye. It is so red. Oh no, I look horrible. <laughs> what do you mean? It looks pretty normal to me. It's just a little red. It's, it's gonna go away really soon. Don't worry about it. This is not that bad to you? Are you kidding me? Look how red it is. Um, it's just a little red. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get some photos. <laughs> it does look kind of funny. And now it's my turn to get revenge. <laughs> huh? What's that flash? <gasps> you better not be taking photos of me. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually too good. You're gonna post a picture of me. I'm gonna post a picture of you. <laughs> <gasps> Did you just take a video of me? <gasps> you better not post that. Too bad, so sad. I already did. Looks like you are also going viral, sis. <laughs> what? No way. What did you do? What are you posting? Let me see. No. Need that phone right now. No way. Go away. Give me the phone. No. What are you posting? Oh my god. I can't believe you did this. Give me your phone. As if, go away. <laughs> That's it. You have left me no choice. Huh. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, you're not getting back your sunglasses until you delete that post right now. Hey, where are you going with my sunglasses? Give me back my sunglasses right now, Crystal Star. Hey, no way. Not until you delete that post of me. Delete it and then you can have your sunglasses back. You know, girls, if both of you would just go into your account and delete all your posts, then everything would be resolved. Dad, make Crystal Star give me back my sunglasses. Dad, make Uptown Girl delete that post of me. Ugh, I am at a loss for words. I'm just gonna let your mother come out and deal with this. Oh. If you don't delete that post, you are never getting back your sunglasses. Give me back my sunglasses. What is with all the commotion? All right, I've changed Daisy. We can start heading out to the airport now. But what is with all the commotion out here? Mom, tell Crystal Star to give me back my sunglasses. I have pink eye. I have like a eye infection. My eyes cannot be exposed right now. Is your pink eye still pretty bad, honey? Has it gotten better from this morning? Let me see. No, it's still pretty bad. See? It's awful. <gasps> Oh my goodness, yes, yes, it's still quite red and swollen, so make sure you don't forget to put on your medicine and your eye drops. Uh, your eyes look like two big pimples. <laughs> they look so funny. Mom, you know what she did? She kicked a soccer ball right into my eye just now. What? A soccer ball right into your eye? Oh no, don't tell me you have a black eye right now. Take off your hand, Crystal Star. Let me see your eye. 
<laughs> okay, it's so bad, right? It's like red. Huh? <gasps> oh my goodness. I mean, I guess it's not pink eye, but your eye is a little swollen and red. <laughs> it's not a little bit. It's really swollen. Your eyes look like a big fat volcano. Uh. Ugh, gee, thanks, Daisy. That's not very nice of you to say. Who wants a volcano eye? I'm sorry, I take it back. Honey, how did you let this happen? How did you let it get so out of hand? I just went inside to change Daisy for a bit, and now all chaos has broken out? Uh, well, you see, um... Honey, I had to watch over the newborn baby, you know, she was crying a lot. And the girls are old enough to take care of themselves. Well, clearly not. Crystal Star, give your sister back her sunglasses. But, but mom, that's not fair. She literally kicked a soccer ball in my eye and, and like it's so red now. Mom, that was a complete accident, I swear. Please, tell Crystal Star to give me back my sunglasses. You tell her, mom. A moment of silence, please. I will deal with you, young lady, in a little bit for kicking a soccer ball into your sister's face. Wait, what? Why am I in trouble? I said it was an accident. I swear, I did not do that on purpose. Crystal Star, your sister has pink eye. Please give her back her sunglasses, and then I will help you fix your eye. Fine, here. You can have your sunglasses back. Thank you. <sighs> Much better. But now what are we going to do about my eye, Mom? It's so red and it looks horrible. Hold on, hold on. I think I have just the right remedy for now. I have some foundation powder here to cover up that redness. Uh, is it really going to cover everything? My eye is really red. Mm, it's not that bad. It's just a little red. This should do the trick. Now hold still, please. Remove your hand, please. Mm, okay. Alright, let's just cover it up. <laughs> Even though I didn't kick the soccer ball into her eye on purpose, but I kind of like that she had the same eye as me. Now she can cover it? No fair. No need to fight, girls. We're gonna put the luggage into the trunk anyways. How many luggages do you have? Well, Mom said we have to share this large luggage, but we each also have a big bag as well. What? Did your mom approve of this? I don't think those count as carry-ons on the airplane. I think your backpack's too big, girls. Okay, I got tops, jeans, I got a jacket. I don't know if I need sunglasses, maybe. If it was up to me, I would pack even more clothes, but we can't on this trip because mom is making us share a luggage, which is totally unfair. How is both of our stuff supposed to fit into this small little luggage here? It's simply just not possible, and it's so unfair. <laughs> it's a large size luggage, but still. I don't know how I'm going to fit all my clothes in there either, but we'll try. I just feel like there's not enough room for the two of us. Uh -oh. Hey look, there's no use in complaining and whining. Mom said so, so we just have to deal with it and figure out something together. Okay, but it has to be fair, okay? I want to make sure that I get to bring all the stuff that I want too. Show me what you're bringing then. Alright, I got a sweater. And I got some jeans. I also got a nice a big winter jacket, and some shoes, and some boots. These are the items that I'm taking with me. Show me what are you taking, Uptown Girl. Remember, we can't pack too much stuff either because we want to be able to buy some souvenirs and stuff. So don't bring too much stuff. I'm bringing a light jacket, a cute little tee, another jacket just in case I get cold. I have another larger tee. And a hat, of course, along with some high boots and some low boots. Okay, fine. Let's start organizing all of our stuff into the luggage. Ah! Oh my gosh, look at that jacket. It's huge. The luggage is literally full. These pink glittery glasses or these cool shades? Which sunglasses do you think I should take on this trip? You know how much I love wearing sunglasses. Ah! Excuse me, what? You want to bring even more stuff? Look how big your jacket is. The luggage is completely full with all your stuff right now. And why do you even need sunglasses? I don't 
don't know. What if I want to wear sunglasses one of these days? Why can't I bring just one? Because, hello, the suitcase is already full and I haven't even put my stuff in yet. We're supposed to be sharing, Crystal Star. Well, we can share. I can just bring one sunglasses and we can share it, huh? Huh? Yeah, right. No, thank you. Nice try. And besides, you know I don't like pink anymore. My new favorite color now is black. So, no sunglasses and take out some stuff so that my stuff can fit in here too. Seriously, how can you say no to this? Oh my god, are you even listening to me right now? No means no crystal star. No! Actually, when we count the stuff, you actually have more items than me. So I should be able to bring these. Wait, what? No! That is so unfair. Your jacket is like five stuff because it's a huge jacket. You know what? I was being nice earlier and I was asking you to pick which sunglasses for me to bring. But since you're being such a party pooper, I'm just gonna bring all my favorite sunglasses. Ha! How you like that? <gasps> you wouldn't dare! That's not fair, Crystal Star. We're supposed to be sharing. This is why I hate sharing with you. I haven't even put my stuff into the luggage yet and already it's completely full. I guess you snooze, you lose. And besides, I'm older, so I obviously need more stuff since I was born first and I've lived longer. What does that even have to do with anything? I'm bringing you my sunglasses. End of discussion. No, you're not. I'm putting my stuff in. Take some of your stuff out. Girls, girls, what is going on? You have always been so selfish. Nuh-uh, you're literally the selfish one. Oh my goodness, girls, what's going on here? I can hear you girls arguing all the way down from the hallway. What's going on? Are you done packing already? Can we actually do any tasks without a fight? It's not my fault, Mom. Crystal Star is being so unfair. I can't even put my stuff into the luggage now. Uh, that's not true. She can still put her stuff into the luggage. We don't know that it won't close. We haven't tried closing it yet. Plus, she even packed more stuff than me and she's complaining. I'm just trying to be fair. That's why I'm picking one more item to match hers. Oh man, girls, our trip is tomorrow. Can we please just pack without making it into a big fight? But mom, look, look! All of Crystal Star's stuff is inside the luggage. It's already full. I don't even have space to put my stuff in. That's enough, girls. I've heard enough. You girls are going to have to figure this out yourself. Whether it's taking out some stuff, Crystal Star, or putting less stuff in Uptown Girl. Uh -oh. But mom, why can't we just have our own luggage? Yeah, can't we just like not share? Look, it doesn't even fit once I put in my stuff. See? Oh my gosh, I don't think it's gonna fit. Just look at that, there's already way too much stuff. Honestly, I am speechless, just speechless. How can you girls have this much stuff? It's not that much stuff. My stuff are super light. I didn't even bring a big jacket or anything. Come on, Mom, tell Crystal Star to take out her big pink furry jacket. It's taking up way too much space in the luggage. Can't you girls just find a compromise? Crystal Star, don't you have any other jacket that's a little bit smaller? And also, can you just take out one item from your options, please, Uptown Girl? No, Mom, it's not fair. I need that jacket. I don't want to catch a cold on this trip. I mean, the jacket looks really warm and everything, but I don't think it's good for skiing. It's gonna be cold. I need two jackets, Mom. Okay, then can you pack one less t-shirt or one less hat or something? No, Mom! Come on, be on my side! No, Mom's on my side! Ugh, that's it, that's it. I am not on anybody's side here. I am completely neutral. You girls are going to have to talk this through and figure it out yourself. Or tomorrow, I'm giving you an even smaller luggage. What? No, that's so unfair! Look, girls, the less you bring, the more souvenirs you can buy. So why don't you take some stuff out together so that you have more space in your luggage? Um, fine. Guess we'll have to. My goodness, if only we can go through one day without anyone fighting. All this fighting back and forth here has given me such a bad headache. 
I'm going to go lie down. If you see Daisy, make sure that your little sister also packs for tomorrow's trip. And girls, again, figure it out. Man, this vacation cannot come soon enough. I just wish tomorrow would come already. I seriously need a vacation. <sighs> why won't you close? Come on, luggage, close. Hey, why are you just lying there? Aren't you going to help me? Come on, help me close the luggage. Oh, no, I think I'm good. I'm going to rest and like take a nap. Seriously, are you kidding me right now? How am I supposed to get this luggage to close on my own? Okay, guys, I don't think I can close the luggage this way. There's too much stuff, so let's take out some of my sister's stuff. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yoink. Ha! Off, off, off. And that should be okay. I think I'll be able to close the luggage now. Shh. Be really quiet. My sister, Uptown Girl, doesn't know what I've just done. Ha! I did it! I finally got the luggage to close with all my stuff inside. Oh, Uptown Girl's still asleep. Before she wakes up, I better get rid of all the evidence. Uh -oh. Where should I put her clothes? Ha! Okay, I'm gonna put it under the bed. Squeeze all her clothes under the bed. Um, um. Oh my gosh, that was a close one. I thought she was waking up. Okay, I still have some time. I'm gonna hide all her clothes under my bed so that she doesn't find out. <laughs> there, now she thinks that my stuff and her stuff are inside the luggage. All right, gonna put the luggage aside. Oh, we're supposed to be traveling light this time. Please, Dad, the luggage wasn't big enough for the both of us. Please put our bags into the trunk. Oh, man, girls, I don't want to have to say yes and then later get in trouble with your mom. Did you not ask your mother? Oh, girls, we're supposed to be traveling light this time. We don't even know if the airlines are going to accept these extra luggages. We might even have to pay extra. Oh, please, Dad, I can't put all the stuff in this backpack away now. It's too late. And besides, um, and here's my homework. I need to bring this backpack because it has my homework inside. Please, please. Homework? I mean, yes, yes, homework. Yes, uh, this backpack also contains all of my homework too, Dad. Please, just let us take this. We don't have enough space in the big luggage for all of our stuff. There's two of us. Please, just let us take our backpacks. Ooh. Oh man, what do I do? I don't want your mom to get mad. If she gets mad, I'm gonna tell her this was your idea, girls. I had no involvement in it. Thanks, Dad, you're the best. Hey, why did you copy me earlier? When I said I was carrying homework, you copied. I didn't copy, I was totally gonna say that first. Oh, uh, you were copying me. No, you were copying me. Nah, -uh, I was not, you were. Okay, that's enough, girls. Break it off, break it off. We don't need to be fighting the entire time to the airport. Now, I'll just put all the luggage into the trunk. There's a lot of space in our trunk, but these are very large luggages. Ugh. Oh, come on. <sighs> okay, I think it fits. <sighs> but there's not much space left. Don't worry, Dad. I believe in you. I believe you can do it. Can you also put my backpack into the trunk first, please? Wait, what? Why do you get to go first? What if there's no room for my backpack after? No, Dad, please. Can you put my backpack into the trunk first? Stop copying me. I said it first. Well, too bad. I want my backpack into the trunk first. There's no need to fight, girls. I will take both of your backpacks at the same time, all right? Oh, oh, what is in these backpacks? Why are they so heavy? Oh, I don't even know if we're going to be able to pass customs at this point. Hopefully the airport will let us. Oh, where can I put these? Okay, I think it fits, but now the trunk is very full. Oh, no! <gasps> Dad, you managed to fit all of our backpacks! Yay, Dad, I knew you could do it! Yeah, but the trunk is pretty full now. There's not going to be room for any more luggages. That's okay, I didn't have any more luggages anyways. Me too, that's it. 
I guess we can go to the airport now. Well, hopefully your mom comes out with the baby soon so that we can head to the airport. You know, we're pretty early today so we can just roam around the airport and check out some stuff. I'm gonna close down the trunk. All right, honey, are you still changing the baby's diaper? Are you ready to go? Coming. <sighs> Gosh, it's been such a busy morning. Every time I changed her diaper, she would go potty again, and then I would have to change the diaper again. Oh, is Daddy's little princess being a little naughty this morning? All right, let's head to the airport. We're pretty early, so we have some time. We can check out a bunch of the duty-free stores. Plus, it's always good to check in early at the airport anyways. <laughs> 